Let me ask you, how many times have you been stuck fixing a project estimate or chasing payments halfway through the project? If you're like most construction business owners, it's probably way more often than you'd like. Now, imagine having a system that keeps your numbers straight, gets you paid on time, and keeps everything organized without the stress. Too good to be true? No, but it does sound like a sweet deal, right? So in this video, I'll show you how to use QuickBooks Online for estimates, progress invoicing, and change orders without making it very complicated. Think of this as a beginner-friendly, non-frills tutorial you can bookmark and refer back to whenever you need a refresher. By the end of this, you'll have a simple, no-nonsense system to get your finances in check and stay on top of your projects. So let's dive in. Creating estimates in QuickBooks Online. First up, estimates. You can't start a job without a solid estimate. It's basically the expectation setting part of a project, which is why it's super important to get it perfect. But to have an estimate that won't go too far off the rails either. It tells your clients what they're going to pay and lets you track everything, materials, labor, overhead from the get-go. So here's how to create an estimate. Log into your QuickBooks Online account if you already have one and go to the Projects tab on the left menu. For those who don't have a QuickBooks Online account yet, I'm linking a quick 20-minute tutorial to help you set it up for the first time. From there, click New Project to create a new project and you would put in the project name, the customer name, any other details that you need. After that, you go into the project and you can add to the project the estimate. If you click right here, it will create an estimate for you. Enter all the job details, site location, project description, you name it, and then list out all the items that you're going to be using. You can put in quantities and rates and amounts. So you're giving a clear picture and accurate picture of the job costs. After that, you're just going to save and close. Just make sure you have the email in here and you have all the messages and attachments that you would like to have. I want to add a quick side note here because you might be wondering why this part of the process is important. Well, it's because it ensures transparency and accuracy in how you present the cost breakdown. When you specify both quantities and rates, you're showing your clients exactly what they're paying for. Trust me when I say that over-communicating information is something most clients appreciate. First, it avoids confusion and back and forth. Your clients will clearly understand how the total cost is calculated versus just guesstimating. That could cause some distrust. Second, if you do not want your customers to see every detail of the project, you still have to have it so project budgeting is more accurate. So this benefit is really more for you as it makes sure every piece of the project is properly accounted for so you're not undercharging or leaving out key expenses. Simply put, it's all about staying organized and professional while make sure both you and your client are on the same page financially. Once everything is filled in, click save and send to email it directly to your client and that's it. Your estimate is ready to go and your client knows what to expect. It's all about setting the right expectations from the start. Up next, I'll show you how progress invoicing works and why I personally think it's a game changer. Once the project's approved and you've started the work, you don't want to wait until it's completion to get paid. This also lessens the financial burden from your customer because they're able to essentially pay you in installments as the project progresses. So it's a win-win. Progress invoicing lets you invoice for work as it's completed so your cash flow stays healthy throughout the project. So let me show you how to set it up. Enable progress invoicing, go to the settings, the gear item, icon on the top right, select account and settings and click sales tab, scroll down to progress invoicing section, flip the switch to turn it on and hit save. Now let's create sample progress invoice. Go back to your estimate, click the drop down and select create invoice. You'll get a pop up that asks if you want to invoice for a percentage of the estimate or specific items. This is where you can choose to bill for say 30% of the project upfront or for the materials you've already used. Adjust the percentage or item amounts based on how far along the project it is. Add any memo information and any attachments. Click save and send to email the invoice to your client. When you are ready to invoice your customer again, you would need to go back to the estimate and repeat all the steps we have just discussed. And the bonus is that on the estimate, you can clearly see the progress of your invoicing, how much has been invoiced and what items are still outstanding. 
for those who have a lot of projects going on at the same time, it is very important not to keep everything in your head and have a trail on each project. Progress invoicing helps you get paid as the job progresses, and it makes sure you're not sitting there wondering when the next check's coming in. You get paid for the work you've done, and it keeps your books and cash flow nice and tidy. Now you have to understand that this process is for the companies who utilize fixed price contracts, not cost plus. For cost plus, you will have a slightly different way to create and send out invoices. If you want me to create a video on that topic as well, leave a comment below. Lastly, here is how you can deal with change orders like a pro. If you've ever been in construction for more than five minutes, you know change orders happen. It's normal, whether the client wants to change the scope of work or something unexpected pops up, like there's a sudden shortage in materials or weather affects your area and causes complications and damages to the construction. You need to adjust that original estimate to reflect the new costs. There are two ways to handle it in QuickBooks Online. So first, you create another estimate for the project and change the name of it to change order number one, for example. Edit the estimate to include the new items, materials, and labor. Once you've updated the estimate, send it to your client for approval. After your client approves the changes, you're good to go. This updated estimate now includes the change order and you can continue billing for progress as usual. Second way is to find your original estimate for the project. Add the missing lines for the edit change order, mentioning in the description that this is a change order. Send clients for approvals. So this way you wouldn't have to keep track of two separate estimates and everything will be in one place. Now, before I wrap things up, I wanted to highlight why everything that we've discussed today is such a big deal. It's simple, cash flow and accuracy. Let's be 100% straight. You're running a business, right? Getting paid on time and making sure your costs are covered from the start are keys to keeping your business healthy. Ask any rational business owner and they'll agree. When you create detailed estimates, you set the expectation with your client. With progress and voicing, you keep your cash flow steady throughout the whole project. And by handling change orders properly, you avoid disputes and headaches and guarantee you're compensated for any extra work. Plus, QuickBooks Online, everything is connected. Your estimates turn into invoices, your change orders get tracked, and your income and expenses are clear. It's all about making sure your business runs smoothly so you're not drowning in a bunch of paperwork and chasing down clients for payments. So there you have it. Estimates, progress invoicing, and change orders inside of QuickBooks Online made very simple. If you're not using these tools yet, you have to start today. It will save you time and headache and money in the long run. QuickBooks Online makes it very easy. And once you've got the hang of it, it will become a second nature to you. You'll wonder how you ever run your business without it. Or if you simply want to have an idea on how this works, but you'd rather get someone else to set this all up on QuickBooks, that's totally fine too. That's where me and my team at Beyond Book Solutions come in. We can help you set up the whole QuickBooks Online with all the Costco's chart of accounts, settings, everything specifically for your company. I'm Elizabeth Taylor, founder and a QuickBooks Online certified construction bookkeeper, and I help construction business owners like you save time, save money, and pay yourselves more. The link to book a free call with me is in the description box. So if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to subscribe. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments. I'm here to help you run your construction business as smoothly as possible. Thank you for watching.